Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, as y'all know, nothing gets past social media. And in the case of Usher calling himself groping Alicia Keys during his Super Bowl performance, it's no different here. Now the memes begin flying and of course being that Alicia Keys is married to legendary producer Swiss Beats, everyone has something to say and wondered what in the world was going on. Now aside from that, there was a lot of symbolism and weird commercials showing aliens coming to earth and all that propaganda they've been pushing on us lately, but that's another story. In the event of Usher and Alicia Keys, Usher was performing his set during the Super Bowl performance where he brought out everybody from Lil Jon, Jermaine Dupri, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas, Ludacris, and they performed a lot of classic hits from back in the day. They got up to the song he has with Alicia Keys called My Boo, and as they were performing, Usher would sort of grope Alicia Keys from behind as she's singing a verse, and they both just kind of smiled and acted like it was normal. Now, no one would have cared, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that Alicia Keys is married to Swiss Beats, in which Swiss Beats, Alicia, and Usher are also all friends. So everyone is puzzled because even if they weren't friends, it's a little thing called respect. And you groping a married woman from behind, whether it's a performance or not, is pretty disrespectful. And Usher is no stranger to breaking up happy homes, because if y'all remember some months ago when he had his concert, Kiki Palmer attended and did some not too respectful things with Miss Kiki Palmer, considering that she had a whole man at the time who she also had a child with shortly before that. Now, after Kiki's occurrence with Usher at his concert, go figure, that she would get into it with her boyfriend and even had to file a restraining order on him, stating that he's physically abusive. Sheesh. Now, in the event of Usher and Alicia Keys, everyone has something to say in regards to the performance and groping of Mr. Usher himself. And it's funny because when you pay attention to the performance, it do seem like the whole time Usher was trying to get close and get behind Alicia, and she was kind of brushing it off like in a friendly way, you know, and it just came to the point where he just made his move. Now, amongst the social media responses, you'd have professional boxer Javante Tank Davis with something to say as he would take to his Twitter to say, quote, Usher would have been on his way to the hospital as I write this if I was Swiss. Now, it wasn't only Tank because another social media would say, quote, this is somebody's wife. Usher needs his butt whooped. Then another social media user would say something a little totally different and actually put it on Alicia Keys. He would say, quote, Usher's halftime performance with Alicia Keys at the Super Bowl has people saying he should apologize to Swiss Beats for how intimate their dancing was is ridiculous. Usher has no reason to apologize. If anyone is to apologize, it's Alicia Keys for disrespecting her husband. Everything Usher did with Alicia, she allowed it, wanted it, and enjoyed it. Swiss Beats has nothing to get mad about. He knew the kind of woman he was married. Women in the entertainment industry are flirty, thirsty, and the S word. Most probably, she once had a thing with Usher back in the day. I think he meant most probably don't know. But he said most probably don't know she once had a thing with Usher back in the day. And as the saying goes, a woman never forgets her fling. It's only a matter of right situation and good conversation. Boom, they could chew each other again. Learn or perish. I don't know if he think he's some type of relationship coach or a pimp or something. I don't know. But this is why this conversation is a good one because you got people that feel Usher wasn't wrong because Alicia Keys allowed him to do what he did. And you got others that feel Usher was disrespectful for groping her knowing she's married to Swiss. Now also keep in mind that Usher himself, they say just got his marriage license in Vegas with his longtime girlfriend. 
whose name I can't even pronounce. Which is strange to me because I don't know about y'all, but I never knew Usher to have any long-time girlfriend, <laughs> right? Especially with Geosia or G Kosia or Jacosia. I don't know how to say her name. However you say it, um, it is what it is. Like I said, I never knew that they both was a thing. And they saying long time, I never really seen her, but that could be just me. Now, Swiss Beats would catch wind of all the banter, of course, being that he was the butt of everyone jokes on social media. And he has a message for everyone that has something to say. It's almost like he was trying to deflect, kinda. I don't know, but y'all get in the comments, let me know what y'all think about what he had to say. Swiss would take to his Instagram account to repost a few slides of Alicia Keys and her outfit during the Super Bowl performance, and he would say, quote, Y'all talking about the wrong damn thing. Y'all don't see that amazing dress covering the entire stadium? Tonight's performance was nothing but amazing with two amazing giants. Congrats at Usher and my love at Alicia Keys. That song is classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. Go see Giants at Brooklyn Museum. It's open until July. Blessings. Now, <laughs> I guess he's a better man than me, man. Um, Here's my thing. If he like it, I love it. Simple. Um, that's his wife. If he don't see a problem with it, then who am I to see a problem? Simple as that. Who am I to say anything if her man himself, her husband, don't see a problem himself? He said they don't do negative vibes over there. Um, Keep in mind, too, that Swiss, along with his kids, were in attendance at the Super Bowl as well. So once again, if Swiss don't care, then that's their business. Personally, I know some people may say, oh, it's just entertainment. Oh, you can't be so insecure. Well, that's you. <laughs> you know, because it's not like it was a movie and they were acting out a scene that had to happen. Right? This is something that Usher took it upon himself and decided to do. It was a great performance either way. It didn't need for him to go the extra mile and do what he did in order for it to be a good, you know, performance. You know, it was going to be dope either way because the song itself is a classic. And some of y'all may or may not be old enough to remember, but it was rumored that back in the day, Usher and Alicia had a little fling. You know, so it's like... All that comes to play a part of it and the way they kind of, you know, chemistry. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. That's why I want to see what y'all got to say about it, man. But in a nutshell, Usher groped Alicia Keys during their performance and Swiss Beats himself responded and he's seen nothing wrong with it. Right. He don't seem bothered. So, hey, on another note, what was up with Alicia's red dress? Right. That literally took up the whole room, like you said. Um, I don't know. It was a lot of symbolic messages and things during the Super Bowl, as it always is. Um, they couldn't keep the camera off Taylor Swift and Ice Spice for whatever reason. And I know damn well Ice Spice doesn't know a lick of anything about football. Neither does Taylor Swift, but for some reason, you know, she's so involved now. They got the camera on her 24-7. And a lot of people say, oh, I thought the 49ers was going to win. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. All right. Um, it is what it is, man. So y'all jump in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about Usher Grove and Alicia Keys and what you think about Swiss Beast's response. Do you agree with it or do you not? Do you think Usher went a little too far? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'ma keep on dropping and I'm out.